Hello, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a try on today and with some of my favorite products, but the kind of star of the show is this Merit Beauty kit that I just picked up at Sephora. It was on the President's Day sale clearance section and um, this is like the Beauté Minimalist um, little set and it came with three products in it and the sale price made it $31.50, which I thought was a great deal because it includes Raspberry Beret, which is the full size and I think one of these is like $28 normally. And then it has, I guess, a sample of the Merit Beauty Mascara. And then the Marrakesh, um, this is the Tinted Lip Oil from them. So I was really excited to try this little set out, mainly because of Raspberry Beret. Because I have Cheeky that I got in the other Sephora Favorites kit. And I love this, specifically like this color. And then I saw that Raspberry Beret was just a little bit more on the plum side and I was like well that's calling my name so if we're gonna try that out today I'm really hoping that I love it as much as I love Cheeky and I'm gonna use it really lightly because it does look like it's a little bit of a deeper shade but this was the box it came in it's pretty like substantial uh, and I got a couple other items so I'll probably be making some videos with those as well I always like when Sephora does those sales especially on things that are like clean beauty or something interesting to try out so we're gonna start out with my salt New York um, this is my sneaky balm and I already do have moisturizer on and a serum okay so I was really excited to get this little kit in. Actually, the sale just like ended yesterday and I ordered the first day of the sale, but I feel like Sephora's shipping has gotten a lot faster. I know during the pandemic, like it really, really slowed down, but it seems like they're back to business as usual. Okay, I'm just going to put my sneaky ball. I have like a pretty big pimple happening right now. So that'll be fun. I'm going to use an yet another concealer today on video with a sneaky balm. I'm going to be using the Saint Beauty uh, sort of like products that they have for concealing, which is like the Demi line from them. I'm just going to try that out with this today. Um, I did a quick review of that or like a demo with it uh, the other day on my channel if you want to check that out. So I'm just going to put this a little bit everywhere and then just add a little bit of Demi at certain spots. This has just been my absolute go-to foundation. I love it so much. And I'm going to cancel a little bit more of that color out with the, the Demi. I do have eyeshadow on. I'm wearing a Suspicion quad from Tom Ford with a little bit of Westman Atelier uh, Pew de Pesh as like a shiny topper. You know, I kind of end up doing a lot of the same eye looks, but I just love it so much. And then I have on um, just the Pacifica, what is this called, the Highest Def Brow Set. I really, I do like it. I think it's quite nice. It's not, I have um, the Jones Road Brow Pencil coming. I'm hoping that's good. I'm really just looking for like everyday, easy, it's a little bit more high maintenance that I want. Like I can't really use it as like heavily as I want or just kind of put it on and then it's fully. You have to really pay attention to how much is coming off of that. Okay, so I think that looks good. Then we're going to go in with the concealer and I am going to start out with my little melasma with these it's like little pots so I'm going to go into a couple of these shades and hopefully knock out this melasma. And I'm going to pat it out so you can see that. And with this brand, you're, or especially with this type of product, you're supposed to use it super lightly. So that is what I'm trying to do. Okay, and then we're going to hit the under eye. Again, I'm going to use similar shades. And just on a couple spots. I really i am not trying to get too much of the color out from under my eye. But just a little bit to neutralize some of that like intense darkness. And a little bit out here. Yeah, I think that already looks like a lot nicer. Went a little bit too heavy there with that. In that inner corner, but that looks good. A touch out here. 
Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit around my nose. Just to get a little bit of that like edge of redness out. Cause I do tend to have a little bit of redness there. I think like most people. And if you're interested in the color theory kind of around this stuff, you can definitely check out that video that I have. Okay, can't be bothered to fuss too much more with that, but um, I think that looks good. And then I'm just going to add a touch of this like purpley shade right here. Um, I barely add any of this and I just slip my little double ended brush over. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this underneath cancel out a little bit of that green that's under my eyes and then a little bit around my mouth this is like no product on here just to get I'm hoping to see a little bit of a cast and I did see that when I did this a couple days ago I did notice it was doing a little bit just to cancel out some of that green okay so that is done Definitely takes a little bit longer than if I was just doing like the Jones Road concealer or something. Okay, so then we're going to go into cheek products. I want to make sure I have Raspberry Beret, which is the whole point. And I'm going to apply this with uh, this Makeup Geek, what is this? They call this the Cheek Highlighter Brush. I just like it because it doesn't apply too much on it. I'm just going to put a little bit on. We'll see to go from there. These Merit blushes are so pretty. They give like such a nice wash of color. I think I'm just going to go a little bit heavier than I normally would so that hopefully you can see the shade on me but still keep it within my realm <laughs> of what I do. This is a really pretty shade. <clears throat> it's definitely plummy but I think because I'm not using it too heavily it like you know it's just a brightening plum. I think you can see it hopefully you can see it on the camera but it's a really pretty shade. These are so natural. These are actually like some of the few blush products that I actually like uh, by themselves. Just like with not much makeup on at all. I just think they look so pretty. Okay, so I went a little bit heavier than I normally would, but just so hopefully you can see that flush of plum. I really like this. The Cheeky is a little more like red neutral on me, um, but this one is definitely plummy. And that Raspberry Beret, I think that's a cute name. Okay. So then we're going to go into, um, I'm going to add a little bit of the Jones Road bronze to my forehead, which I've been liking. Every time I open this, I have to smell it, which might seem a little strange, but it smells so good. And someone said it's like grapefruit and a bunch of other extracts, um, which is probably why it smells so yummy. So I have some on my finger. And then I like putting this on my forehead. Kind of rub it into my hairline. I do think it gives a little bit of warmth, which is so nice. And I'm going to add a little bit of this to my nose and then at the back of my cheeks because I want to kind of warm up some of that plumminess. Okay. I think that looks nice. All right, we're going to add, um, let's see, I want to add some highlight, make this quick. Um, I'm going to do the Nectar from Westman Atelier. I have the little mini size from the holiday set. But what I like about the Nectar is it's a little bit peachy. And so since this is really cool, I want to kind of bring that peachy hue back um, just to give me a little bit of warmth. I like that mixing of the cool and the warm. I mean, not that this gives much of anything. But I do really like these. These are such a beautiful formula. And they just give a little bit of something, a little bit of shine. And they're so lovely. Unlike the Jones Road has a lot more like tackiness to it. Once you put these on, I, these just always remind me of like a silky slip kind of like feel. I mean, they're just so nice. And I add a little bit more brightness there. I know I added the bronze, but just to give a little bit. I think that looks really pretty. All right. So let's go into the two products I've never tried from Merit. So we've got the mascara and the Marrakesh lip oil. I do have some chapstick on from earlier, 
but I can't imagine that would be a problem with the lip oils. Okay, so let's try this mascara. It's the first time. Looks like a pretty standard brush, like really kind of even all throughout. Okay, so super, very much like a natural looking mascara. So when I tried the mob, it was like way more intense. This is like definitely a very natural mascara. Hopefully you can see that build up. This is really pretty. It's not clumping together my lashes like at all. Okay, maybe it is clumping in that middle one a little bit, but like very minimally. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. But it's still easy to really separate. So if they get a little bit, you can just kind of cross hatch it and go back. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit underneath. Oh, that's a really good under mascara because some mascaras look like atrocious for me underneath because it just makes my lashes look way too long or like chunky and then there's not that many down there so I just like it to look a little bit darkened not so much that they look so much longer oh this is really pretty I could see why people like this this is in the perfect black I wonder if they have more shades I haven't looked at that at all hopefully you can see that looks really pretty Okay. On days where you're looking for like a no makeup look, this is certainly giving you that. And I really like it for underneath. Hopefully you can see how pretty and delicate that makes it look. Okay. I like that a lot. Ooh, this is very nice. Okay, so then let's go to the Marrakesh. This looks to me like mm, a little bit of like a sienna shade maybe. It's got a little bit of brown to it, a little bit of warmth. It's not usually my go-to, but why not? Oh, that's really pretty. So it's not that heavily pigmented. Oh, that's really pretty. You know what? I think that that little bit of like that sienna shade is just giving a touch of warmth, but it's really not overpowering or really going too far into the brown. I like that a lot. It looks like it's maybe coming up a little bit pinker um, on the camera than it is in real life. Oh, but that's great. And this formula feels really smooth, silky. It does not feel sticky at all. I'm kind of loving that. Hopefully you can see. That is really pretty. Okay, so and I did want to mention, um, let me grab this. When I got the the little sample from, or got this pack from uh, Sephora, they had a sample of the Merit. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome. I can try out the foundation and all these items together, right? And the foundation is like the um, complexion perfecting stick. And then I look at this and the lightest shade they have is cream, okay? And when you look here on the like the category of all the different shades cream is right here which is the third lightest but there is like a huge jump between cream and silk and then bone is like obviously super neutral uh, but the silk looks like it would be pretty like probably a good match or maybe silk and bone mixed together but let me just show you this is cream how dark and like this is like a really warm bronzer on me okay let me see if I can get a good swatch I was so disappointed because I was like, how cool would that be if I could sample and show you kind of how pretty this looks? Do you see how orange and just like really like warm? Let me give it a little bit more. And it oxidized on my hand like almost instantly. So obviously I couldn't wear that, but I was kind of bummed because I was like, oh, that's so cool. I got a sample of the foundation from the brand. So I do think um, it feels really nice. I do think I might want to try it, but if it's if it's that close to like the Westman Atelier, it might be like a no go right from the start, anyways. <laughs> but I just wanted to show that that's, that lightest shade they gave in the sample is like very warm. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you like that. Um, I do have a couple more items I'm going to be filming today, and I'll show them. But I do think this is a really nice little set. I I know that it was like a limited, um, it was just sort of a limited edition set, but 
this is the kind of thing, these kind of sets, keep your eye out for them, especially if you want to try something from the brand, because it ended up being like the cost of just buying this. So obviously it was great to try the other two. I'm loving how the mascara is looking. It's like per that's actually like a very much no makeup uh, mascara look. Really nice. And this is beautiful. It would not have been a color I would have picked, but I really like it. All right. Let me know if you like that. I'm going to have more videos this week.